In this video, we'll look at graphing using step pattern. So the equation that's given is y equals negative 2 x minus 4 squared plus 8. Clearly a quadratic. Let's start by identifying its vertex. The vertex of this parabola is going to be found here, the h and the k value. In vertex form, you just look inside the brackets here. But make sure whatever the x value is, you flip the sign. This says negative 4. That means the vertex occurs at positive 4. It's the opposite sign of the x's value here. It's called the h value. And then the k value just stays as it is, 8. So the vertex of the parabola you see here is 4, 8. Now we want to identify the step pattern. A lot of students just say the step pattern is a single number, but that's not true. You get the step pattern by taking 1, comma 3, comma 5, and you could keep going, comma 7, comma 9, and timesing it by whatever a is. In this case, a is negative 2. And so the step pattern for this parabola is negative 2 times 1, 3, 5, which gives negative 2, negative 6, and negative 10. Now we have everything we need to graph this parabola using step pattern, that is the vertex and the step pattern. So let's graph it. Start by putting the vertex. The vertex is up at 4, 8, so we'll put a dot there. And now we count the step pattern. Here's how it works. It's always step over to the 1, so I'm going to go 1 to the side. And then I'm going to count down by the step pattern. So first, step over 1, go down negative 2. So I go down here to negative 6 and put a dot. Now I'm going to count again the step pattern. Go over 1, always over 1. That takes us over here. But this time go down negative 6. That's from the step pattern. And show your work that you've counted down there. And I got negative 6. Please forgive the diagonalness of that line with my rough grid here. So I went over 1, down negative 2. Over 1, down negative 6. I gotta go over 1 one more time and down negative 10. Put a dot. And I label what I'm counting here so the reader, or the marker, typically me, can see that you've counted over 1, down negative 2. Over 1, down negative 6. Over 1, down negative 10. Let's do it on the other side. Over 1, down negative 2. And I'm labeling that. Over 1, down negative 6. Put a dot. Over 1, and then down negative 10. I'm labeling that as well. And now I have my points, and I can connect them in a parabola. Make sure it's a nice U shape, not a V. And draw a nice curve going through each point that you've made using your step pattern, and put an arrow on the end. There's one side of the parabola. It'll make it a little darker in case it's hard to see on the video. Oh. There it is. Come around for this side. Make it a little darker to start. You don't have to shade it in. I'm just hoping you can see it. It also actually helps me draw it. If I make little pieces like that, I can correct any little mistake I make with an eraser. And then I continue this parabola going down through my final point. Notice parabolas never go straight up and down. They're always opening a little bit wider. It's never a perfectly vertical line. And there you have it. I have graphed a nice parabola using the step pattern. The vertex was 4, 8, and I counted the step pattern off and showed my work right on the graph.